Welcome back Villa boys to another video of my match preview for a tomorrow game against Brighton Hovabiel as Aston Villa is travelling to Brighton South Coast 2 o'clock kickoff like in the video. Now first we have to talk about the opposition team Brighton they're not really having a great time not having a great time like you know last season that was amazing Desiree done absolutely brilliant last season finished six on the table got in Europa League football for the first time now look at now look at the season now they're having you know played the Europa League they did play Europa League getting a um, round of 16 losing to Walmart and it didn't really Brighton didn't really hit the same you know they're sitting ninth on the table I believe before talking, non from table, lost two on the bounce, back, back, back to back defeat. You know, scared match by Man City, bad by Man City, and lose to Bournemouth 3 0 as well. They lost to Bournemouth 3 0. But to be fair, Brighton is still a good, good team. They still have good players, you know, to lock out for, obviously, to hurt us as well. Deserby is a good manager, very, very well, good manager, but not so world class. A very, very de decent manager. They do have Deserby in there. Or for, for me, Brighton, often the Europa League, you know, it's to be fair, it's the Europa League that um, make them not, not that great on the show, to be fair. You know, like, um, even like, um, Today, like even today, I see the result, result like um, Newcastle beating Burnley 4-1. Yes, I don't think Brighton might not get European football. I don't think that they're not getting European football because it's a bit too much for Brighton, for me, in my opinion. Very too much for them as well. Too much. But they, they try to finish the season on the high. But look at the players they got. They got Motoma after the scene with the back. He got a problem with the back. Out to Fatty. Didn't really work out for him as well in Brighton. Didn't really work out for him. Out to Fatty as well in there. Even Ferguson. Ferguson in there. And looked and the players they got are dangerous as well in there. And Brighton can be a threat in Amex Stadium. Amex Stadium can be a threat. So we got to be so, so be careful in against them um, these lot and the Amex stadium so it's not gonna be an easy place it is so difficult and hard 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 place to go but apart from that we do have good record we do have a good record against Brighton at Amex stadium we do have good record we never we haven't lost a game against Brighton at Amex stadium we haven't lost at Amex stadium yet we never lost in our history never ever lost to Brighton in Amex Stadium you know the first time we went there on the Dino we drew we drew here 1-1 one, one on the Dino then the next season on the Dino we beat them I've really beat them like 2-1 I think so we beat them like 2-1 I believe we won against Brighton we beat them all the draw I can't remember what this one but after that I remember we beat Brighton like 2-0 and last season we beat them 2 1 on the Una Emery. So, and even they got the players back like Enciso as well. Enciso, good player, very, very tricky. So, we need to keep an eye on this guy as well because he can be so dangerous as well, Brighton. That can be so dangerous. So, that can give, Brighton can give people a game. Look, the earlier season, yes, it's early, but they gave Liverpool a game. They gave Liverpool a game. Beating Tottenham 4-2 as well. They beat Tottenham 4-2. Even. Yeah. They beat Tottenham 4-2. They gave matches United you know, a game as well. They did give them the game. Yeah. Apart from that. Yeah. That's it really. So let's talk about um, Aston Villa. Aston Villa. So boys. Tomorrow it's not going to be easy. And like I said. We left forget about Olympiacos for a second. We'll forget about Olympiacos for a second. 
and we have to focus about this game tomorrow. It's not gonna be easy, as like I said, a tough game. Strong, we we have to be so strong. We need to sort of very, very well, and we can get Champions League football. If Spurs lose tomorrow, if Spurs lose, if we beat Brighton, I go to you, that would secure us to play Champions League football. A Champions League football. That's a secure us in my opinion. I believe we can do it as well. I, I can see us beating Brighton. And you know, Una Emery need to get the line of Dwight. He gonna get the line of Dwight for tomorrow game. So when White must start at 11. So in goal is if Emmy Martinez fit. If he is, I've got Emmy Martinez in goal. If not, it will have to be Robbie Olsen. So if I'll go Emmy Martinez if if he's fit. The back four luckily will be Cash right back. Torres and Konza have to be centre back. Left back in Lucas Dean. The midfields it will be McGinn, Louise or Rogers. I think that we'll go with. The mid Louise, McGinn and Rogers at the mid. And on front three it has to be Diaby, Bailey and Watkins. Dump the line or go with the lineups. The score position. Difficult, a tough game, but 2-0 Villa, 2-0. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. My name is Villa Boys. I'll see you next time. Up to Villa, come on.